Fulani settlement at a village called Itin, Shagamu, Ogun State, has been raised down by um, Irish youth following a case of kidnapping. The Ogun State Police Command has confirmed the incident to newsmen. Daily Post gathered that some headsmen said to be Fulani had abducted a woman whom the police said was yet to be rescued as of t- Tuesday night. Okay. Exasperated by the situation, some youths in Iraye who said cases of kidnapping had been recurring in the area stormed the Fulani settlement and set it on fire. It was learned that one person was injured in the incident as many other Fulani men fled for safety with their wives and children. The Ogun State Chairman of the Mieti Alaka Breeders Association of Nigeria, Magban Abdul Mumini Ibrahim, said about five houses were touched by the locals in the settlement. According to Ibrahim, no life was lost in the attack, saying the affected S-men have temporarily relocated. Those affected have run away from the community. Two persons were missing earlier, but they have been found. They have asked them to make a formal report at Shagam Police Station in the inc- of the on the incident. The Magban chairman has said. The state post- police spokesman, Abimbola Uyeyemi, while confirming the incident, stated that normalcy had been restored. Uyeyemi said the clash occurred between because Fulani S men kidnapped someone in his farm. He added that the state commissioner of police, Edward Ajogun, had visited the place for on the spot assessments okay <laughs> nothing happened without anything of course the media Allah, they will come out and, and deny it they will tell you oh, nothing of such happened there are people did not do anything you the police people do your job i think uh, the way they are arresting esn and ipo members so easy why is it that it's, it's always difficult since on monday or so or was it on sunday that uh, what happened in igogo happened up to, up to today, we have not heard anything again from the government. We have not heard anything from the police. Falano is telling us that an incident that happened in Igogon, that the police were informed, the security agents were informed, they were reliably informed before the incident was carried out. Then what happened? Now that it has happened, then what happened? Because Mieti Allah is still coming out to tell us that uh, they know nothing, their members know nothing about this whole thing. Who are you deceiving? Who are you deceiving? It's been happening between Ogu and Oyo, Ogu and Oyo. Now, when these people create problem, when people try to, uh, uh, when they try to uh, pay them back, they will not know or they will not talk about what actually led to what they are doing. But they will tell you, you don't have to do that. What you are doing, because at the end of the day, the police will not do anything, the government will not do anything. The yes, they will, you hear from them is that we condemn it, we condemn it, this and that. Let everybody be calm. They should not be reprisal. We are on top of the situation. Oh, investigation are ongoing. Those are the things, the rhetoric you are going to be hearing. And before you could say Jack Robinson, another problem has come. Before you could just even look at, look up again, another problem has come. So the one that happened before, nothing will be done about it. Everybody continues to, to move on. And they will tell you that uh, the police, the security agencies, they are all overwhelmed. Instead of them to recruit more policemen, if you are truthful, the especially the say the state police who the state government who are being who are being given security votes what do they do with it that is the, the the problem we are having the police themselves they are not well taken care of so they take order from above it is what they want them to do that they will still do they are not totally independent we have had a situation whereby they will tell you oh some fulani men were kidnapped and just a call to the presidency to ask rock they will release them and the same people will come back again and begin to commit a more havoc on the people. They will come back and do worse things. Well, someone should say fake news. Hmm, not fake news. I live in Ikorudu, not fake news. That is how the other people talk about it. They talk anyhow. Nigeria in trouble. You fools, you have asked them to go and report to the police station. God will punish you and family. And those who are supporting this killing, the Almighty God, will not forgive you people. In the uh, and the president, I don't even know what they call houses. Do they acquire property or house? That is why they commit mayhem at week because they have nothing to lose, and that is it. They have nothing to lose. Even in that, where is their place in the first place? Whether you now say, Oh, 
Ah, uh, they don't do uh, some stuff in this place so that they have uh, their own place that they are well taken care of. There is no, there's none. You know you are so evil and you shall fall with your content. Imagine no good structure is there. These people called Fulani Esme are just an animal. They will never develop. The face uh, news, okay? Now, uh, this newspaper is the most biased of all. In what way? Stop allowing Fulani to settle in your area. There is, uh, they are not good people. I can remember in the video, the one man was talking about, oh, it is the, it is the, all the ballets, the monarchs, the traditional rulers, they are the ones inviting these people. And this kind of a thing happened, I remember, in Delta State, whereby, whereby they were accusing the monarchs that they were the cause of all this problem because they will invite these people, they will give them land. At the end of the day, at the expense of who, they give you one malu, one cow. Or what? Yeah, you're just gonna be doing this, and at the end, at the detriment of your people. So you want to tell us that uh, this is so-called Fulani, or the so-called traditional rulers or monarchs or the leaders or the ballets they call them, they don't know or they don't see beyond their nose. You can imagine one monarch in Igogon when this uh, Fulani Esme came to attack them on Sunday or so. He he paid he paid with his edition. Uh, Thank God that he, they were able to escape. Thank God that he was able to escape. But they burnt down the palace. They burnt down the palace because at the end of the day, just say for example, the man was one of the people that gave them land. They don't even know. They will just ask how they are going to bring everything down. You thank God that uh, your life did not go in for it. Mm -hmm. I pity the local people. Fulanis don't forget and don't forgive. Mm -hmm. They don't forget and don't forgive. And that is what uh, one other is telling us. They don't forget and they don't forgive, really. Fulani Esme is causing these things to destroy other Fulanis. Can't other Fulanis too talk to kidnappers among them as you destroy their palm front houses? Please keep vigilance because Fulanis do not forgive. They are gregarious hmm, and murderers. They will come in the night and kill you people when you are sleeping. And that is why some people say, the security should be everlasting. You should be at a last everlasting. Because these people, they are something else. They should just keep an eye if, if it's that's what you're going to do for the rest of your life. If you don't want these people to come at night. Somebody said they are cowards. They cannot come at the daytime to, to confront other people. Why is it that when people are sleeping? But that it is what it is. The people just have to try to make sure that they counter all this they are whatever they can't say it hmm. because it's not gonna it's not funny at all